What's your name? My name's Ernesto. What's your name? Justin Perez. What's your name? Ariani Elcida Hernandez. And what position do you play in the band? I'm the singer. I play the double neck guitar bass. I play drums. I've been a musician basically all my life, man. Um, I started playing drums when I was like three, moved on to guitar when I was about 10, 11, and then just the rest is history. or I like to refer to myself more of an artist because I'm not really classically uh, trained as a musician per se um, but I started singing when I was four years old. How long is this tour? This tour is a three-week tour. This tour, let's see, we started on October 18th uh, in Seattle, Washington. Um, the last date, I believe, is November 6th. November 6th. What's the best and worst part of touring? That's a great question. Uh, I would say the best part of touring, just like any tour, is playing on stage, you know, playing for people, meeting fans, uh, you know, seeing new places, you know, getting to do cool stuff in different cities and different states. Um, I would say the worst is probably the driving, uh, travel time, the loading in, loading out, the hurrying up, getting everything ready, you know, I would say that's probably the worst part. And then of course if, you know, things happen on the road like breaking down or getting sick, you know, things like that can be really bad. Good old drummer warm up. Is that what that is? Yeah. Well, you eat the whole thing? hamburger. Yeah. But, you know, like I have like a super high, ridiculously fast metabolism. Do you? Yeah, like I'm gonna be hungry in about what, 20 minutes, maybe, give or take. Uh, yeah. Something like that. Two hours. We'll work it off quick. No, in two hours I'm gonna have a headache. Yeah? Not yet. I have no shit. Freaking exhausted, guys. <laughs> well, guess who never has to drive? Very stable. Wild. Stick. Guess who never has to pour their soul out and like everything they could possibly have and Roberto. singing and belting <laughs> every night. Roberto. Try doing that. Roberto, you think I don't do that? You don't. No, not for not for the whole time. No. What do you think? I lay down no. on stage. I take a nap, I take a smoke break in the middle of the 30 minute set. I'm, I'm saying of, yes. You would if you could. If you could, he, guitar, he totally would if you could. Your guitar is heavy and everything, but you don't have to pull it out of your body. I gotta like, scream paranoia every night. <laughs> The best and worst part of touring. Well, the best part of touring, of course, is the 30 minutes or so that you have on stage where you can share your energy and hopefully you get that reciprocal energy from the audience. 
Yeah. It's just this unspoken conversation. Um, that's definitely the best part for me. And then the worst part of touring is you don't get to have, you know, the things that you're used to, that you're comfortable with. You know, food can be sometimes challenging if you're trying to eat healthy, as I try to do on the road. Um, but sometimes you can't, and you got to get some fast food, um, and you make up the best of it, you know, and going from hotel to hotel, um, going from different elevations and climbing and, and all that can affect your voice as well too. So those are certain, some things that are kind of challenging. Um, but at the end of the day, it's all about those 30 minutes or so you have on stage with the crowd. Best part of touring is uh, just getting to do what you love to do every night, man. You know, it's not a, it's not a job if, if you love to do it. Um, worst part, I uh, can't really say that there's ever really a worst part of touring from, from me personally, but this one in particular, it was a three-day drive <laughs> to get to Seattle. So I guess you could say by the time we started tour, you know, we were all pretty kind of jet lagged, but you know, we've been kicking ass every night. We've been playing great, great crowd responses and uh, I wouldn't have it any other way. Um, not necessarily. Um, there are some that do stick out to me. Like for instance, uh, Wisconsin's always cool. South Dakota, we just played uh, Big's Bar. It was really cool. Seattle was great. El Corazon, uh, that venue is awesome. Uh, Denver, uh, Herman's Hideaway is really really cool. And uh, just every, I mean, everywhere we've played on this tour has been awesome so far. So. So far on this run, I would say Seattle was a really great crowd. Um, I really enjoyed Colorado too, uh, the city itself, as well as, as the show. <laughs> uh, Seattle was definitely one of them. That's the first time I'd ever played Seattle. Um, tonight, actually, uh, the Annex. I've, I've, played there if it's anything like it was about 12 13 years ago it was it's a it's a great venue kick-ass venue here in madison wisconsin um the turf in st paul minnesota i'd say i'd say those are the three i mean the, the annex i've played before so i know how that venue is but i would say seattle the turf and tonight hopefully it's the same getting some return on how much time, money, 
energy sacrifice you've invested into this. So, yeah, once you said that, like, it, it really stuck with me. I'm like, but just let it go. She's ignorant. She doesn't know that's how cool. much goes into that this. That is people that I guarantee you she's a... All it takes is just one song. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No 20 clue. fucking years ago. No clue how much, you know, you know you're freaking in your mid-30s and you gotta live at home and uh, you gotta freaking pay to be on a tour. Like, just, they, they have no clue. I'm charging $5 a candle, so it's all about the money. I don't listen to what it says. Fucking... Listen to the music. Look at what it says. Fuck my lines. I'm trying to do more than make money. Uh, it has its ups and downs, just like, uh, I guess, any relationship or, you know, basically, if you're in a band with anybody, it's almost like a marriage in its own. Um, but this, you know, being in, in, a, in a band with your spouse can get uh, a little complicated. But, you know, the, the cool thing about that is that we're both aiming towards the same thing and we're both basically, we both have the same goal. So it, there's more pros and cons. Touring with my husband you know, like anything, it has its pros and cons. Um, it's great that we get to do this line of work together. Um, I think it's challenging if somebody's not that you're, you know, you're in a relationship with is not on the same page with you. Um, not to say that you need to work together, but you need to grow together. And I think it makes it easier to grow together when you're you know, doing the same thing together, you have the same passion, and um, I'm, I'm grateful for that at the same time as, you know, obviously we argue and we we bump heads on certain things and don't agree on, on things, but at the end of the day, it's really a blessing. How is it touring with a husband and wife <clears throat> in the band? It's awesome. I don't speak Spanish. So when they argue, you know, it's like, it's cool. I'm, I'm kidding, actually. Um, it's great. You know, they, they, uh, they're, they're, they're great to, to work with, you know, on all accounts, man. They're great people. And, um, you know, uh, again, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to play with anybody else. What do you see for the future of Modern Mimes? Uh, just continuous touring, continuous music videos, new music, um, just more work. Just continuing to put work out and continue to do what we do. Okay, in closing, do you have any advice for young musicians starting off wanting to do what you're doing? I absolutely do. 
Um, do it because you love to do it. Don't do it for any other reason. If it feels like it's becoming a chore or a job, um, you know, take a step back and reflect and uh, just basically think about why you started playing music or being in a band or doing anything musically. That's pretty much all I ever say to young musicians. What do you see for the future of Modern Mimes? Um, I think, you know, not to sound cliche, but I think this, the sky is the limit. I think um, we're just going to keep doing what we love and hopefully, you know, people will feel that and um, the music will always live on and that's what I try to do. I try to create something that's timeless and at the same time um, something that's true to my heart. So all I can hope is that people will feel it and um, that they'll get something, some meaning out of it for themselves. And any advice for any young musicians wanting to do this? Um, don't? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a lot of hard work. Um, but don't, don't give up and just stay focused um, on the purpose of why you're doing it. There's a lot of outside things that will try and derail you from, you know, what you're trying to do, but just stay the course, stay your path, and um, just have fun. Like, don't forget to enjoy the journey as well, which is something I'm trying to live by as well. <laughs> Thanks. What do you see for the future of modern mimes? Is uh is, is is you know it's really all about um, persistence and never giving up. You know, which there's been a bunch of times that you know I think all of us collectively and individually, you know, we wanted to throw the towel in here and there, you know, but um, not even just with modern mimes, but uh, you know, it's it's all about persistence and never giving up. You know, if you want it bad enough you'll get to where you want to be. And this is something I was told years ago by a good friend of mine. And the thing is, um, <clears throat> it, is it, it takes a lot of, you know, we, we all have sacrificed a lot, you know, even just to be here now, you know, and you have to look at it as every tour, every person that you play for is just, it's just chipping away, you know, and you're, 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 you're advancing a little more and a little more, you know, it's just really, it just takes to, you know, keep going, man. You, know, you just can't stop. That kind of answers my last question, but any advice for young musicians wanting to do this? Absolutely, and I have a different answer, believe it or not. Do not focus on getting signed. Do not focus on money or fame. If that is your goal, don't do this. Because this industry will eat you alive. It will, it'll eat you alive. You have to honor, you have to wholeheartedly want this. You know, you, you have to... You have to eat, sleep, and breathe music. You know anything in the entertainment. Uh, sorry, anything in the entertainment industry, um, whether it be acting, music, any anything to do with the arts. You know, um, if you if your goal is fame and fortune, don't. You know because can it happen? Absolutely, but that's more or less the reward for all the hard work you put in. It takes years sometimes to really get to where you want to be.